Hey everyone, we are back here with another What to Rare You Should Have Been video. Today we are checking out dart weapons. Yes sir, we got a whole dart mod here, the Dartastic mod. And then we got the Polarities mod here, which adds in a little unique weapon called the Atlatls. Atlatls, something like that. And these also shoot darts. Very cool, very unique. We'll check those out later in the video. But for now, let's get to the darts, shooting, blowpipes, whatever you want to call them. All right, we got a bunch of uh, ore ones. You, you know how it is. Let's go ahead. Let's whip out all these ore ones. Shouldn't be anything too crazy with the ore ones. Uh, let's grab. Hmm, what should I grab here? I think just like a regular dart pouch would be nice, or maybe just regular darts. I can get some seeds. No, we're gonna go with regular poison darts probably. We'll go with this. It inflicts poison though. Okay, maybe something that doesn't inflict poison. Give me just like a generic dart. I know something has it. Dart tastic has the generic dart. All right, perfect. Let's use it on the vulture, starting with this tin blowpipe. Already decent damage, I'm not gonna lie. Moving on to the copper one. You know, these got some nice velocity to them. Got some nice range, you like to see it. Let's see the iron one. Very simple so far, because they're all the ore ones. This is usually how it is with the ore stuff. You know, ore stuff usually isn't too unique. It's just gear you get your hands on, you use early in the game, and then you slowly get your hands on some more unique stuff. Let's use the silver one on an eye, and he's gone. Okay. I was trying to see if I can kill him before he left. Maybe the uh, tungsten one will get him. I got to chase him. I got his ass. Golden blowpipe. Let's bring out a goblin. Damn, look at the knockback on this thing. That's pretty crazy. And then let us go ahead and see the platinum one. Let's bring in a thief. Get his ass before he steals all the money. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, here you go. You can go ahead and look at all the damages here. As you see, they do dart damage. So keep that in mind. They do dart damage. All right, let's go ahead. Let's start getting our hands on the more unique ones. I believe these are all the pre-hard mode ones. And then the rest after that, these are all hard mode ones. So starting with the Crimson and Corruption version, we got the Demon Blower. I don't like that. It says, this sounds like an innuendo. Exactly. I don't like the name of that one. And then we got the tendon shot. Let's see the tendon shot. Okay, really fast. I like it. I like it. So let's bring in a couple of enemies here. And let's just start blowing them. Wait, hold up. Let's just start shooting a lot of darts at them. We got a lot of speed. We could do that. And next up, we got the demon blower. Let's see this one in action. Okay, so this one seems a little bit slower, but it does a little bit more damage, which is interesting that the corruption one does more damage than the uh, crimson one. Let's bring in some zombies and let's start blowing them. I got to stop saying that. Tranquilizer. This one looks straight up like a pistol. I like it. Shoots pretty fast too. Let's bring in some enemies. Uh, I don't think it has a special effect, even though it is called a tranquilizer. I mean, it, it's a tranquilizer, and it just shoots darts. That's usually what they do anyways. They don't always need to knock something out. Next up, we got the asteroid. Let me see this one in action. Ooh, this one got some speed to it. This one really got some speed to it. We can knock out a whole group in seconds. After that, we got Dardogony. Very interesting name. Okay, this one, look at the like shape of it. <laughs> that does not look like something comfortable to shoot darts with. I don't know. I feel like you get poked in the eye trying to shoot darts with this. I am noticing there isn't like, oh, here we go. Finally, some, some effect that we got on it. So this does have a natural poison. I was about to say, I'm starting to notice that like most of these don't really do anything, but I could give some leeway to that just because, you know, the mod probably is going to rely on you using different darts, which makes sense. Like, look. There's a reason why they give you so many darts. But, you know, it's like the flare gun video. I'd like to see like a triple shot, a quad shot, you know, maybe like a burst shot. Speak about shot, spine shot. Converts normal darts into bone darts, dealing pretty good at knockback. Ooh, got the, the little bone noise that it makes. Let's see if I could combo these sorcerers before they shoot. Oh, had them stun locked right there. Let's hit some skeletons bone on bone action. All right, and last for these ones, we got Hell's Rage. Well, actually, it's not last, there's two more. Let's see Hell's Rage. I like the looks of this one. This might be my favorite looking one. Uh, any effects is it that it does? Is it just fast? No like flame effect or anything? I guess not, not too much to look with here. All right, next up, we got the Trombone. 
What else is there to say? S tier, probably the my favorite dart weapon yet. Not annoying at all. Music, literally music to my ears. We got the Knight Assassin, which obviously that's the Knight's Edge equivalent. Oh, look, it pretty much says that right there. Let's see it. Okay, shoots decently fast. Not, not as fast as I'd want, but it does hit harder which is good we like to definitely see something hit harder especially if you know we put all our previous weapons to an upgrade for it there you go there was the pre-hard mode section on to the hard mode ones all right so we got the cobalt dart launcher and we got the palladium hand cannon this thing is super slow oh my god let's bring in a goblin warrior three hits for the goblin warrior okay i see them they are palladium and cobalt you know they're, they're not too strong i usually skip those tiers anyways in terms of weapons at least all right next up we got the mithril trank and the orichalcum dart rifle let's see these these are also fairly slow i like the looks of them though they look cool we're straight up getting like dart guns rather than like blow pipes which is fine for me these also doing decent damage you know, able to take a 100 health enemy out in like two, three hits. Not bad, given that I'm not wearing any accessories or armor. Next up, Adamantite Double Shot. Let's see this. Oh, here we go. It took us a while. Oh, they're shooting more than doubles. They're shooting triples. It took us a while, but we finally got like a different shooting variant here. As they were shooting multiple darts at once. It took a while. It took until Adamantite, but not bad at all. Maybe let's bring in some actual hard mode enemies. Okay these guys might be a little too late hard mode for uh, me to bring in it's all good we're still doing damage we're still killing them titanium auto darter i'm assuming you could just hold left click but i play with omni swing like a sane human being let's bring in some zombies though and then i guess bring in a hard mode enemy why not you know i guess i should for the hard mode weapon next up we got the crystalline enforcer converts basic darts into crystal darts shoots three darts at a time Ooh, this might be the strongest slash best one we've seen let's bring in toxic sludges oh my god they got destroyed let's bring in snowmen and chase them down i like this one this is definitely my favorite so far. I like the crystal darts. All right, next up, we got the Heavenly Exterminator Auto Fires. Haha, <laughs> I got Omni Swing. Let's bring in Toxic Sludges. Look how happy they are. They're not going to be too happy once they die, but uh, maybe they will. Nature's Tranquility. Let's see the speed. Damn, really slow, but this one has higher damage. We might be able to nearly one tap. Yeah, close enough. Again, I'm using regular darts, no accessories, no armor. Midnight's Reaper. She's an extra demon thorn every shot. The true knight's edge of dart weapons, basically. Holy. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing, bro. I'm, I'm holding it by, like, the stock in the back. I'm not even holding it the right way. All right, but let's see it in action. Not too bad. Able to hit multiple enemies at once, which is very, very nice. Do a little bit more damage. Next up, we got Heaven's Kakoths. Kakoiths. I don't know. Weird word. <laughs> Says shoots an extra crystal dart every shot. Let's see it here. The crystal dart I really do like. Hey, this one we're holding nice and fine. But this one also is gigantic too, like the last one. I like it though. Anything with the crystal darts, you got me falling in love. The crystal darts are amazing. Next up, we got the tarragon. Shoots three darts at a time. Shoots an extra terror dart every shot. Freaking huge. The terror blade of dart weapons. Oh my god. <laughs> They just get bigger. Our character can't hold these anymore. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see some enemies here. Bring in some possessed armor. We're doing good damage. I think it might be time to finally bring in a boss. Let me go ahead and zoom out here. Let's bring in the King Slime. Let's see what damage we can do against the King Slime. Beautiful. Oh my. Destroyed him in an instant. Queen Bee? Let's see it against the Queen Bee. Not too bad either. All right, next up, we got the Fertilizer. It has a 33% chance of not consuming ammo. Cool. Does a nice 110 damage. I'm noticing that a, dart, a lot of these dart weapons have pretty high critical strike chance, which is cool. All right, let's bring in Skeleton Snipers, and I'll snipe them right back. Don't let them get a shot off. Good. And last but not least, we have the Lunar Marker. The culmination of darts themselves. Let's see it. So just a super rapid fire dart gun. Got it. I got it. I see what you're doing. Okay. 
so there was all the dart guns uh, i'll give my honest review here i do wish that most of them were a little bit more unique but like i said given that you know the dart class usually relies on you know what you actually use for ammo yeah, i'll allow a little leeway in there not being too many unique weapons but at the same time there still should be some unique weapons you know what i'm saying all right let's get to the accessories let's blow by these real quick we got this one dart board Increases dart damage by 10. We got this one, which also says dart board. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say dart emblem. Uh, increases dart damage by 15%. Dart slinger's glove increases dart crits by 15%. And then we put these two together to make the target practice. So, you know, I put these on and we do a little bit more damage. Look at that. That thing went to 525. From 150 to 525. I wonder, can I stack? Can I stack the accessories? Oh my God. <laughs> We can stack the accessories and we can really do some damage. Hello. Let's see. Let's see this against some uh some real tough enemies here. Let's bring out the golem. Oh my god. <laughs> He's getting torn up. So as you can see, if the weapons didn't feel that powerful, you can get them pretty powerful pretty easily. <laughs> Especially with any weapon that does like around 100 damage. Like look at the numbers. Oh my god. <laughs> What about the tin blow five? Yeah, obviously these don't do enough damage. Damn, the iron one gets to 30? What the heck? This is crazy how much the accessories buff it. The only thing that I'm worried about, honestly, is the armor. Like, how does armor affect it since it does dart damage? If I just put on, like, a ranged armor set? Yeah, see, the ranged armor set doesn't affect it. So hopefully the mod developer is working on adding in you know armor sets and stuff obviously the mod is a work in progress always new stuff could be added that could be said with any mod but yeah accessories are cool puts up your damage a lot let's move on to the darts we got dirt ball we got mud ball let's see the dirt balls in action cool let me put down a dummy we got our dummy down let's see it in action i'm doing a lot of damage because i'm using this decent weapon <laughs> but let's see the uh, mud ball one uh this one has like a lower range it feels like than the dirt one yeah it definitely does so yeah it's mud liquid form affects its gravity a bit but it does slightly more damage than the dirt ones cool easy ammo to get i kind of like it and then obviously we got iron pellets stronger version of normal seeds also kind of heavy and then we got the regular darts we don't really need to shoot those we saw those we got gel darts bounces three times before destroying itself so this pierces and bounces cool so i could like shoot from like way back here which is very very nice bouncing darts honestly could be very useful and then we got demon thorn pierces infinitely so i can have multiple dummies here and we're gonna pierce all of them with the demon thorn very cool very strong so far i'm really liking these darts next up we got the blood spike is this just like a strong dart? I think this is just a strong dart. That's about it. Maybe in the future they add life steal to it. We got the jester dart. Goes through enemies very fast. Holy. That one can be very good for crowd controlling. We got the glass dart. Great offense, great gravity. You got to get close to use this. But, you know, it does decent damage. So, you just got to have a risk reward sort of type deal, I guess. Because, like, this is probably one of the highest dart damages. 20? That's definitely the highest we've seen so far. We got the hell dart next. 50% chance of setting an enemy on fire nice nice and basic does good damage sets things on fire very useful and then we got the last two here chlorophyte dart unaffected by gravity splits in two after some time chases after enemies wow this thing looks like this could be very deadly very useful splits in two chases enemies like damn and then we got the luminite dart here unaffected by gravity splits in five after colliding infinitely pierces amazing and look at that just explodes into a bunch of shots or a bunch of more darts let's bring in the king slime and let's just see the magic and that's without a buff either should i put on some buffs let's put on some buffs not like actual buffs i meant like accessories to buff it let's put on some accessories to buff myself and then let's see it against a hard mode boss in rage plantera anybody in rage plantera that's a that's a tough enemy to fight a tough boss to fight no armor or anything we just got the accessories the darts and we are taking her down quickly I'm not even directly shooting at her either. I was trying to just bounce it 
to get all the shots going but there you go there was all the darts there was all the guns all the accessories from the dart tastic mod keep that mod downloaded and get ready for future updates because you know it's going to get better as it goes on and develops more and more adding in more accessories armors who knows what they could add but let's move on to the polarities mod here you guys if you guys know about the polarities mod you guys know about the at lottles let's go ahead let's just take out a bunch of them here most of these wood ones are exactly the same uh, i'm gonna take out this endless wooden dart pouch so at lottles they're kind of they're ranged like hybrid weapons i think okay no see i thought you could smack people with them but i guess i'm wrong okay they're literally just like dart throwing weapons that's it this is what they do very cool very interesting how they work uh, obviously better woods will do more damage and maybe more speed but other than that all the wood ones are fairly the same it's like all the ore ones this one is a little bit different though the rat lotl converts projectiles to poison darts boom so we can poison some stuff with this one makes a little noise too uh real quickly there's a pearl pearl wood one yep very fast projectile speed cool just get that one out of the way so we can get to the unique ones starting with this one the axolotl amazing name good play on words sometimes spits bubbles instead of shooting a dart look at the bubbles amazing do the bubbles do more damage they gotta do more damage and i also just i just love the sprite on this one whoever came up with this genius next up we got the thistle thrower this one throws really fast i think it also does poison damage cool bone slinger shoots an extra bone dart the extra bone dart does seem to pierce very nice add a little extra crowd control to your weapon be able to take on groups of enemies easily next up we got the eh coddle that's like when you're trying to clear your throat eh. shoots three darts at once cool obviously this can get a lot stronger with armor better darts like everything and these actually do range damage so you can actually buff it with ranged armor we got the fractalotl shoots additional projectiles more horizontally and vertically Ooh. so that one's literally just shooting like straight down like that first dart that comes out goes like straight down can be very useful if enemies are spread out we got the jungle's rage let's just see it in action there's not much to say about it okay a very fast one and then we got the candy cane at lotl hitting enemies increases swing speed and decreases accuracy okay so if i just go like this oh man that yeah the accuracy is getting worse oh my let's get like point blank so i can just see like full speed like it's getting so bad that i'm not even hitting the first two in front of me <laughs> that's how bad our accuracy is getting still cool i like it this is a unique weapon okay let's take out the darts here let's see them in action we saw the wood one let's see these next couple ones start with the bone dart fly straight until it hits an enemy okay so this one's just got really good velocity nice you like to see it this one also pierces after that we got the bouncy dart i love the bouncy ones let's see the bouncy Ooh, look at that now this ain't no crystal dart but still i like it. you know it's for people that have bad aim like me you know the extra bounce will hit something right we got the chlorophyte dart sticks to enemies and i'm assuming does damage yes sir when it sticks to them it's kind of like the fossil uh, throng weapons cool i like that very unique after that we got the blood spurt dart pushes itself along by spewing a damage tra trail of blood Ooh, this one can get a little messy might get a little blood everywhere but this one is cool i like this one and then we got the venom dart explodes it into a venom cloud now this one would be pretty good at controlling a crowd huh look how much damage we're almost at a thousand damage per second without any armor without any ranged accessories that's crazy now here's my question i did not test this before do these mods combine darts can i use darts from this mod i don't know let's see oh it looks like i can so hey if you're trying to get a little dart playthrough going on you know combine polarities which is a great content mod with dart tastic boom you can have a lot more variations you got this stuff you got that lottles man you gotta have a lot of variation in terms of weaponry but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out both of these mods great mods to expand the dart class there may be some more mods out there that also expand it obviously dart tastic mod that's a work in progress and polarities is always a work in progress too because polarities updates a lot and it's a great mod man check it out but yeah my only pet peeve like i said was uh i feel like there wasn't enough like variation in all the darts i I could, I could let some pass like the lead ones or the ore ones but like i got to like some of these ones over here in pre-hard mode and they literally all felt the same maybe change that up mod developer 
change a couple of them up, add a burst shot, a double shot, something like that. Because, like, you, nobody wants to be using the same exact weapon the whole entire playthrough. Just a very slight variation in speed and damage. That's kind of boring. And also, I don't know what's going to be going on with the armor. I don't think that these things should do dark damage. I think they should just stick to ranged. I don't know. That might just be me. Because there's no armor in the mod yet. So, like... To do a playthrough with this mod, you literally are going to be rocking no armor except for like maybe just like a armor set that overall buffs everything. And you're playing in 1.3, so you know, you don't have the options of the fossil armor and the ninja armor. Well, I think the fossil armor, no, I think those are both crit armors if I'm thinking correctly. But obviously 1.3, you know, <laughs> increased throwing damage. Same thing with the fossil armor, wherever the hell that is, that's increased throwing damage too. So hopefully the mod updates and adds in either changes it back to range damage or adds his own armor because if you do a playthrough with this like you know these do range damage these do dark damage a little bit of a problem but since no armor exists for these not that big of a problem just rock ranged armor but yeah i will see y'all in the next video make sure to leave more suggestions for weapons items you want to see overhauled like this i'll see y'all next time